Hey, it's John from Smart Edition Academy, and in today's video, we're gonna go over the PSAT 8-9 reading and writing sections. Now, these sections are combined on your score report, so we'll go over each and every topic to make sure that you do well on that combined score. We're gonna go over each and every topic that you'll see on the test so that you can be fully prepared. Now, check out the link in the description below. There are links to our free PSAT 8-9 practice test, our online course, and lots of other helpful resources to help you guys score high. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Now for the reading section of the test, this is going to be 55 minutes and 42 questions. It's going to consist of five passages. And these passages are you know, anywhere between 500 and 750 words. So the types of passages that you can expect to see, you'll have one literary passage uh, from a work of fiction. You'll have one or two passages from a U.S. founding document or a text. Uh, and those examples of those types of things could be like the U.S. Constitution or maybe a speech by, say, N Nelson Mandela, something like that. Then you'll also have one passage from a work of uh, economics, psychology, sociology, or some other social science. Now, with all of these passages, you don't need to know these topics. You don't need to know the science or the social science. And then you'll have two passages from scientific works that examine kind of foundational concepts. Uh, and they can be things like developments in earth science, biology, chemistry, or physics. Again, you don't need to know these particular subjects. Everything you need will be in those passages to answer these questions. And when it comes to the actual questions on this reading section, you'll be asked, you know, a couple of different broad categories. So you might see questions like identifying the part of the passage that supports a point that the author is making, uh, finding evidence in a passage that best supports the answer to a previous question, and finding a relationship between an informational graphic and the passage that it's paired with. Questions on the reading test will ask you to identify uh, different words and how they kind of relate to the context of that passage. Question asks you to use context clues that you have to pull out of the passage to figure out which meaning of a word or a phrase is being used. Now, there could be different meanings of words, multiple meaning words, so you have to use the context to understand you know, what they mean. Bear, is it the animal or is it bear having nothing? So a current could be the current in a river or an electric current. Now the third part is going to be the analysis in history, social studies, and science. And they require you, you to draw on reading skills that you need to kind of succeed in those particular subjects. So for instance, you might read about an experiment and you'll see questions that would ask you to examine the hypothesis of that experiment, interpret the data that's come out of that experiment, uh, consider the implications of that research and, and the conclusions that were drawn. And when we talk about the writing section of the PSAT 8-9, this is going to be 30 minutes with 40 questions. Now, don't be fooled, you are going to have passages, these are shorter passages between 350 and 400 words, but it's totally different from the reading section. You don't have to interpret what's in those passages and kind of use evidence to support the author's claims and things like that. This is really going to be reading passages to find mistakes in the passages, and your answer options are going to give you options to fix those things that are incorrect. So it's a bit different, although you are still working with passages. Now the complexity of the passages can really vary. So the passages are about you know, the variety of topics which can include career, science, humanities, history, and social studies. And the purpose of each passage is going to vary just a little bit. They're kind of trying to get you to answer and test you on knowledge for different things. So you know, at least one of those passages is going to be a narrative passage. And uh, it's going to describe events in a story-like way. And this passage is not a work of fiction, but it could be a nonfiction account of a historical event or it might describe a scientific experiment. Uh, other passages are either argumentative, meaning they are trying to convince or persuade you to uh, believe a certain thing, uh, or they might be informative, where they're trying to just inform you of certain things, or they could be explanatory, explaining um, different concepts. Now, each passage, each of these passages is going to have 10 multiple choice questions. And there's going to be two types of questions, ones that have you improve the expression of the ideas within that passage, and then the other type of question is going to be where you have to recognize and correct errors in sentence structure, grammar, uh, correct usage of the English language, and punctuation. So when it comes to the expression of the ideas, they're wanting you to improve the substance or the quality of the writer's message. And this can be kind of broken out into three different uh, types, of, types of questions or things that they're looking for. That's going to be development, which are questions about the main idea, such as topic sentences, the thesis statement, 
uh, supporting details, focus, uh, quantitative information in tables, graphs, and charts, how that's organized. And then there's going to be organization. So these questions kind of focus on the logical sequence throughout the passage, the placement of information within the passage, and the ideas as well as effective introductions for those passages. Then the third part is going to be effective language use. So these are questions that ask you to improve precision of the writing, uh, eliminate wordiness to make things a little bit more concise, and you're considering style and tone. Um, you might be asked to combine sentences to improve the flow of the passage. And then there's going to be kind of the traditional standard English conventions where you should be pretty familiar with this by 8th or ninth grade, but this is going to ask you to recognize correct grammar, usage, uh, the mechanics of problems within a passage, and you'll have to kind of recognize and correct errors in sentence structure, so kind of knowing or, or recognizing run-on sentences or incomplete sentences and how you would fix those, and then of course punctuation. So such as, things such as like missing punctuation or unnecessary commas or just the wrong punctuation. So those are all things that are going to be on the writing section. Uh, your score for the PSAT 8-9 is actually combined. The reading and writing section are combined into one score and then you have your math score. So it's important to do well on both sections and hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, check out so that you get notifications when new videos are coming out, which we have a lot of new videos coming out. And then of course, check out the links in the description below. There are links to our free PSAT 89 practice test, our, our online course, and lots of other helpful resources to help you guys score well on the test. And then of course, check out the channel. We got lots of videos to help you guys out. So until then, we'll see you guys on the next video.